going to show you how to take this circuit that charges capacitors and turn it into this. Now if you're new to electronics, you'll know that these don't fit in project enclosures very well. And something like this is much more preferable. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a Kodak camera, a Kodak fun saver. They uh, have the five pin transformers and make sure you have a five pin transformer to do this because I don't know how to do it with a four pin yet. And what you're going to find on the back is three pins here. Those are the three pins from the transformer and two more pins down here. That's a diode. And uh, the, these three pins on the side are a transistor. The two there are LEDs. That's a resistor. And that's a little slot where a piece of metal connected to the circuit board. But you're going to put wires in there. So you're going to make sure that you take some solder out of that hole to keep it open. As you can see, it's, there's nothing in it. Now, there's also a surface mount resistor right there. Make sure you don't remove that and make sure that it's on there to begin with or else this isn't going to work. If it's not on there, you can just solder a 220 ohm resistor between these two. Now, on top, this is pretty much what it looks like. Now, in order to get this little circuit right here, you're going to have to take a regular Kodak Fun Saver board and cut this off. They keep this right in the corner and it should fit something like that. I've trimmed it down a bit so it doesn't fit perfectly, but it's always in the corner. You can cut right here and right here and then it'll fall right off and it'll be a little square like this. But whatever you do, make sure that you keep the transistor intact, don't touch that. The transformer, the diode, the LED, and all the resistors. Don't damage any of those components or else it may not work. Now. This is pretty much the basics, and now I'm going to show you some pictures. You did this mod correctly, you'll be left with something that looks like this. Two input wires, two output wires, a diode, and a capacitor. Very simple. You can see it was jumped on the back, a couple wires were soldered on. Very simple mod. And if you want to see what I did to mine, is I made these right here. Uh, I basically potted them inside a uh, film canister it's nicer because it's nice and tough you can't break it because there's some brittle parts on this so I recommend that you put this in something and fill it with hot glue or wax or something like that to keep it steady now my next tutorial is going to be on how to make a flyback a very simple flyback driver right here I've got a couple of them this one right here uses a small transistor input wire two output wires, and a circuit mounted on the side, and a couple bottom pins. And uh, this is the next step up for electronics beginners. Very simple to make. You can order the transformer for about 10 bucks on eBay, and all the components you need for 20 bucks. And the circuit pretty much only has three or four components on it, so it's very easy to make. Well, hope you enjoyed these videos, and there will be more to come.